Hey, Terry here with CEBlades.com, and today we are going to be discussing karambits. All right, as said in the introduction, karambits are going to be what we're discussing. Karambits are a Southeast Asian martial arts weapon, generally associated with Pinchot Silat, although they have traveled up to the Philippines, got involved with Kali and Eskrima. Um, became real popular in the last several years. I guess they were in some anime movies, but also, if you ever watch John Wick 3, there's an extended karambit fight, and two of my favorite movies, Raid 1 and Raid 2, featured very prominently, especially carried by Mad Dog the Assassin. Um, features of a karambit, what set it apart from every other knife, you know, it's got the finger ring hole right here, a short handle, and then a blade that looks very claw-shaped. Karambit loosely translates from Bahasa Indonesia into tiger claw. Other names for them include Alawi Ayam, which is a smaller version right here. Alawi Ayam means spur of the chicken, so this is kind of taken from a cockfighting weapon. Um, this curve fits into your palm, very secure. The finger ring makes it very secure. As you can see, as a utility knife, this works really good. You can be doing your work, flip down, cut open what you need to cut open and then go back and you don't lose your knife. Um, the obvious benefits of it in a self-defense close quarter combat situation should be evident. Grab, twist, stab, cut, whatever. Um, the claw shape is very, very important because that gives it an outsized cutting ability. By having a curve when you're cutting into something, it draws more of the material that you're cutting into the edge so you get a deeper cut. Uh, the finger ring also lets you have a few other options if you open your hands in surprise, you're not going to drop your knife. Um, if you're engaged in like traditional Indonesian combat, you, know, you can issue a challenge showing that you have a weapon and then palm it real quick. Like I said, this is a, a karambit. To me, this is more of a Filipino style because it's a bit on the larger side. As mentioned earlier, this is the Lawi Ayam size. This is my personal favorite. Once again, it's got that curve in there, so you get a lot more cutting ability than the size of the blade appears that you would get, plus the way that they're oriented, you also have some really good hook punches and straight punches that can catch as long as you remember your targeting. Um, modern karambits have also evolved into including folding style karambits and some good things to look at when you're buying a folding karambit. Position of the clip, in my opinion, you want the clip to be where it's in your pocket, you have the finger ring accessible from your pocket, not sitting like this because that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, most good modern folding karambits are going to have a wave type feature which allow it to open on your pants pocket. There, therefore, you can just grab it and go and you're popped open. Uh, good liner locks important to look at. We also have some smaller karambit like things. Uh, this one is the diagnostic from Vastinelli and this is basically just a neck knife size karambit. Uh, it's a little two finger. You have that lanyard on there for a little more secure grip, but everything acts just the same. You have that, that security with that finger ring on there, and that curved blade gives you a lot of cutting ability. We also have some, like this is a Sengut from uh, Braun Frank, Common Sense Self-Defense, based off his gun ting design. So you have this here. This one also is, is set up real well for use in a forward grip. Traditional style is always to have it in a reverse grip. We have a training drone version, um, and Karambit's very, very interesting weapon. Uh, also still useful as a tool, if, if you look at it, it's set up real well for opening boxes, cutting open like rice bags and stuff like that if you're a warehouse worker. Uh, one of my favorite styles of knives, and uh, we hope you come in. We have these up on our website, cebladescom We also have them in stock at our two stores here in Lubbock. Thank you and have a good one.